Hi guys, how to improve your gameplay as a roamer in Guild Wars 2? One thing that a lot of veterans do is that they uh, choose, they make templates. Like when you open an account, you have two templates over here in your equipment build. Uh, here you see I have full power, uh, I got Rune of Scholar, uh, Berserker, right? So pretty much everything is power, right? All right, so take a look. Uh, the second tab over here is uh, Celestial, but with uh, rune of the trapper right and as you can see if i go to this build over here the second one over here i will have uh traps right which is good with the build that i have right now right but if i go back to one and let's say if i go back to one over here for my build uh this build is more for like uh my everyday roaming so I would use this kind of build, this build for, you know, regular roaming, but I can, sometimes I would switch some stuff depending, you know, how I feel, but usually I don't want to touch anything because that's how I play. And then let's say I'm going to play against a certain class. I'm going to switch to this guy, right? Which is a Condi class with Celestial. And then I'm going to switch to this guy over here because I know that in this build, I have all my traps ready. Uh, and then if I play another type of class, I would go with this guy. So I have Celestial with uh, Rune of Speed, right? This is uh, still power and power. You can switch weapon, swap weapon if you want to. And number three over here, uh, you do have three, by the way, when you create an account. So this is the build that I will have for my number three, depending on what class I'm playing, uh, playing against. You know what I'm saying? So I have three tabs for three, you know, like three different type of of gameplay you understand same thing with my equipment build you understand so you have to do that because oh, what well, you have you don't have to but what i mean is like veteran players that's what they do what they do as well is they go to the control option you go down a template and as you can see here equipment template win one i key bind it to my numpad on my keyboard number four and then uh, equipment two to my numpad five equipment template three to my number six so these three over here is is equal to these three over here so if i click if i click number five on my keyboard on uh, my numpad boom and switch this one number six there you go number four number five number six there you go and so on and so on but you have to remember what is in your build uh, because when you roam uh, i don't really check what's like you have to memorize what is your build so that's one thing a lot of veteran players do uh and then the one at the bottom, I key bind it to uh, one, two, and three, and then control one, control two, control three, but I only need those three first over here, one, two, and three, because that's all I have, one, two, and three. If you want to open the other tabs, it's going to cost you some gold, uh, some gems, so it's 300 gems if you need it, uh, but it depends uh, on you. It depends how crazy you are and then if you're really into it. So it's up to you. I may open it. I, I may open some. I know my mechanics, I have five tabs, so yeah, because I, I love mechanics. is my one of my, like, it's my main class technically, so yeah. Anyway, so the point is that if I press on my numpad keyboard, number one, boom, it's switched to one. Number two, here we go number three boom so if you let's say i if i click four and one there we go so i have my my template ready to go and this will be this guy over here the first one and the first one over here which is power so i have to remember when i click four and one on my numpad on my keyboard i know that this is the build that i will have so i have to memorize this because in the heat of the action uh, in the heat of the action you don't have time to switch i'm gonna take this i'm gonna take that and blah 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 you don't have time for that you have to be fast and efficient and you need to know that this is my power build and this is what i need for my power build so i can take this actually and maybe this uh uh, it depends it, it is situational but you have to figure out what works for you right so you got to make sure you're ready so let's say i need my condi build with my trap so i'm gonna play i'm gonna click five and two five two so basically now i have uh, my condi build over here right uh some white condi what is this I, I thought i had celestial yes i do whoops my bad so there we go so now i have my condi build and this i would use against specific class like traps are very good against melee class so if you have melee class coming next to you you're gonna drop your your trap you know you're gonna be invisible right and you want to drop your aoe over here boom and you want to use this and this and this and this and this and this and then you want to switch you want to immobilize you want to blah 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 while you have all your condi on the floor right while you have all your condi well now your condi your traps and you know you want to use your uh axe five you know to shish kebab the person along with all the other stuff that you're going to throw at him or her and plus you have your command over here right this is for untamed by the way so you need to know what your build does and for which class is good against you understand 
work same thing with number three so if i click on my numpad six and three so now i know i have a build that involves uh celestial and swiftness so this is for mobility so if i want more mobility and also um what is this one uh okay so this is uh, wilderness survival right so wilderness survival this is what i pick but you can choose whatever else you want i think i would go back to beast mastery to be honest with you because beast mastery when i click this guy it gives me swiftness swiftness works with uh rune of speed right so i need swiftness you understand and i think i would go with this guy and i would go with this guy for more swiftness you understand so if i take one get three okay so it's pretty much the same thing actually this is good to if you want to run again if you want to run against some someone you know who doesn't want to wait for you or whatever uh so if you want to roam and you want to get the swiftness See, so I get swiftness. Ooh, that's a lot. So basically, if you need to run against somebody who, who's running away from you, that's that's what it's good for. And also, I would even change this, the hammer. I would change the hammer to the great sword. Yeah, I would change the great sword. Why? Because of three. So if I kick three, there you go. And now you want to catch up to the person. Plus, you get this guy super speed. Boom, 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 boom. You see? So you want to go fast. You also have super speed if you're in ranger mode. So I'm going to have to switch. And if I click this guy, I get super speed. So this is really a build about catching up to people, you understand? So it's three and three, so which is uh, on my numpad, it's six and three. There you go, if I wanna go back to my power, it's four and one on my numpad, you understand? Uh, gotta make sure you keybind those things, so I did not keybind this guy over here. Usually I keybinded uh, skill, so that would be this guy, uh, that would be mouse four. And this guy will be shift mouse four for f4 so you got to make sure you keybind those two over here because uh if you don't you're gonna have a hard time to switch like this so that's what i do so basically the reason i say this is because veteran players in order to be efficient uh because whenever they roam they're gonna face different type of of classes a lot of different type like every classes are different that's why you need a different build for each of them some classes will be good with the same exact build that you have so if you play power it they will it will be good again a good good against like three classes maybe but then when you feel when you face a harbinger you may want to change to something else right so you want to be ready and that's the reason why when i roam usually if i see oh look it's a uh, oh it's a will bender okay so i have my traps ready all right there you go boom 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 i kill the will bender he's dead boom 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 all right and then the next thing is like oh when i kill them and i'm gonna switch back to four and one boom so basically i'm back to my original build right oh look at that i need some swiftness i need more swiftness and i need to run after somebody i'm gonna switch to six to three six three boom now i got my uh whatchamacallit my rune of speed right so i'm faster right so there you go i'm gonna cash to you you think you you shish kebab me no 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 i got my my speed over here i got look i got rune of speed and i got my longbow i'm gonna stop you i'm gonna shish kebab you i'm gonna come at you i'm gonna bring my pet boom 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 i'm gonna switch and i'm gonna shish kebab you again with ambush you understand I, <laughs> are you guys feeling my drift so that's what veteran players do and sometimes you're gonna say uh what if you are under attack uh, how do you switch your you know your 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 build if you're under attack well that's easy well it's not easy but it's easy so there you go you can press number three get the f out use your shish kebab if you have rune of speed even better so you shish kebab you want to get out of combat once you're out of combat switch ba boom there you go you're ready come back and then you attack the guy boom 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 you kill him you do what you gotta do you gotta be fast guys guys roaming is not easy as it is every time every 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 second matters every reflex matters everything you do matters the reaction the decision the build that you have the the, the utility spell that you have everything matters to be a good roamer if you don't do this well i mean i mean you don't have to do it but i mean if you do it you'll be more efficient more proactive and you'll be able to kill a lot of people and people will say how come you're so strong well i'm not it's not that i'm strong it's just that i'm being proactive and because i know that if i'm facing a certain type of players i'm gonna switch boom 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 and i'm re i don't need to like okay so i'm gonna go back over here i'm gonna switch this this helmet to this helmet this shoulder to this shoulder i'm gonna switch this you don't have time to do this you don't have time to do this guys you need to boom boom switch boom boom switch you, you gotta you gotta be fast you gotta be proactive that's how veteran players play and that's why some of them are very very good because what they do usually that's what i've noticed they will uh they will like uh, they're gonna see you like they're gonna look who are you are you a are you a ranger are you a warrior are you a what and then from there on they decide which build they're gonna take so if you if if they know who you are and let's say you are out of combat 
but boom they switch right away and they're ready to attack they and they you know they, they don't need to ask 500,000 questions and then when they kill you and they see another type of class they're gonna get out of combat and boom boom switch there you go I'm ready to attack are you guys feeling my drift so this is one of tips for advanced player if you want to be a good roamer you need to be proactive it's not enough to have a build and say okay so this is the meta build this is what everybody plays so i'm going to play this build and i'm going to be good in roaming against all classes that is not true because every classes are different every classes has different build every classes has different gameplay so if if you want to be proactive and efficient you need to make sure you have a different build for different type of classes if you can so you have to think about that guys if you want to be good at roaming in the future so i hope that this video helps you if it does please like and sub thanks for watching and i see you in my next video cheers no 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 he's a wow he doesn't want to fight ah oh, scrapper oh this guy eh? Will Bender switching spec. <laughs> that feels good. You think that's gonna help you? <laughs> <laughs> to Will Bender, eh? Oh, interesting. Shape here. <laughs> that shit's 
good. <laughs> oh, 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 you're happy, eh? You're happy, eh? <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
this time, bro. What you gonna do for me? What you gonna do for me? What you gonna be? Refreshing. There you go. What you gonna do for me? What you gonna be? Yes, my life, my strikes, my right to fight to die on. Armored up. And this is my game to play to claim a brand new name. Oh, and I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm a bit nervous. Got on my screw. Everything up that I've ever done. But what's the point of living if you? Just surprised it's you 